clever tactical and tactile game based on the popular Japanese traditional game Koita. Get rid of all of your tiles and outsmart your opponents in Tiger and Dragon. And today we'll be teaching you how to play Tiger and Dragon, a game designed by Hashimoto Atsushi and published by Oink Games. And hello everyone, it's Stella and Taryn from Maple University. Let's go to the classroom. Based on the traditional Japanese game Goita, Tiger and Dragon is a tile shedding game for two to five players. Players try to get rid of their tiles as fast as they can, attacking with numbered tiles and then defending with either matching numbers or with special ability tiles. However, it's not simply a matter of speed. Although only the first player to get rid of their tiles will score points in a given round, the number of points scored will depend on exactly which tile is placed to make the victory. Meaning players must think carefully about whether to go for speed or push for the highest scoring option. The first to score 10 points over multiple rounds of play will win the game. Tiger and Dragon plays with 38 tiles, a 1, 2 2s, 3 3s and so on up to 8 8s, as well as a Tiger and Dragon. Odd numbers and Dragon are red, even numbers and Tiger are blue. To set up, give each player a player board and choose a first player. Shuffle up all of the tiles. Each player draws a number of tiles based on the player count of the game. So here for a four player game, each player would take nine tiles. If you are the first player, draw one extra tile. Stack your tiles so that you can see them but your opponents can't. This is called your hand. Any tiles not drawn by the players during setup should be set to the side unseen. Make a pile of scoring tokens and choose one of the battlefield cards which will determine how this game will be scored. For your first game, use Dojo Battle. You're now ready to play. Tiger and Dragon is played in a series of turns and forays which are called Attacks and Defends. It's through this that players will aim to shed all of their tiles by playing them from their hands to their personal player boards. To commence the first round, the first player attacks taking any one tile from hand and playing it onto this special first player slot. This is now the active attack. In this place, it was an attack with a number eight. Players will now take it in turns clockwise around the table, each given the chance to defend that eight by playing a matching eight. For example, this player has an eight in hand, so it chooses to defend and plays the eight into the next numerical slot on their player board. This attack is now defended and is therefore complete. The player who made the successful defense may now make the next attack, again, choosing any tile from hand and playing it into the next slot numerically. Here we have an attack with a five. This player now has the chance to defend with a five. This player has no fives, so cannot defend and must therefore pass. Play now moves to this player. This player has several fives, so it could choose to defend by moving one of them into the number one slot, or for tactical reasons, could also choose to pass. Play would go back to the start player. The start player has no fives, but does have the special dragon tile. Being red, the dragon tile will defend against any other red tile. And so let's say here, red takes that option and defends the five with the dragon. This attack is now complete. So now this player would make the next attack. It may so happen that all players pass and play goes back to the player who made the attack without it being defended. We know this will definitely happen here. With the dragon out, there is no tile which can defend the one. So there will be a complete lap of the board. The attacking player now gains what's called a one rotation bonus for this happening. That player may now choose any tile from hand and without revealing it to the other players, may play it into their next defensive slot. That attack is now complete and the player makes the next attack in the usual way. 
Play continues with attacks, defends, and one rotation bonuses as long as all players still have tiles. Do be aware that you can attack with either the tiger or dragon tile, but it's quite weak as any matching coloured tile could defend it. The round will come to an end once one player is out of tiles. Do note that the last tile is never placed face down. Even if it comes from a one rotation bonus, this tile is placed face up. The player who ran out of tiles is the only one who scores in this round. And to determine the score, look at which was the last tile placed and then compare it with the number of points that tile scores on your current battlefield card. The score has two components. There is a base amount of score. So here for winning on a seven, there are four points scored. Then you'll score a number of bonus points for each face down tile that you have in your defensive row. In this case, it's one point times one tile. The exception to this is at two players. You can have face down tiles for one rotation bonuses, but you do not score bonus points for them. As a result, the tactics of your game will depend on your battlefield. Dojo battles score more points for high numbered tiles. The meadow scores more points for even tiles. The volcano favours low tiles and gives you double bonus points for your one rotation bonuses. However, a consistent feature across every battlefield is that winning with either the tiger or dragon is worth only one point and gives you no one rotation bonus points, while winning with the single number one tile is worth 10 points plus bonuses. Now check to see whether the game has ended. If any one player has 10 or more points, then that player wins the game. If not, then shuffle back all of the tiles, rotate the first player one step clockwise and redraw for the next round. Tiger and Dragon comes with 10 different battlefields, each giving you different tactics and different ways to score. The blue ones play the simplest and the red ones are more advanced. The seven that you can see here all follow the rules that we've already seen. In the fog battle, the winning tile is worth points equal to its number value, with the exception of one, which is still worth 10. In the clifftop battle, each player chooses one tile to reveal at the start of the round. Winning with that tile scores six points and winning with any other scores three with the ones, tigers and dragons still fulfilling their normal scoring. Finally, in the cave battle, the winning tile doesn't matter. It's always worth two points. However, you gain the one rotation bonuses from all players, not just those of your own. And that's how to play Tiger and Dragon. Thank you so much for watching. Your like and comments are much appreciated. Subscribe to see what's coming and let us know what games you've been playing. See you next time.